Welcome back everybody. This package just came in the mail. It's from Team U. It contains a $9.38 bait casting reel for a fishing pole. <laughs> I ordered it because the last thing I ordered, the world's smallest fishing rod, actually came late. And so when things come late from Team U, they give you a $5 credit. So I had a $5 credit to use on there and I came across this rod that was $9. So I actually only ended up paying $4 for it. I actually got a lure in here as well that was $1.38. So let's unbox this. I can't imagine that a $9 bait casting reel is even remotely decent, but let's unbox it and see. Okay, there it is. There's the box. It is, uh, I believe it's pronounced Segu Sugeilang, Sugeilang, uh, which is a Chinese fishing brand. I they actually sell this Sugeilang on Amazon. And here's my lure. Let's get this out. And take a look at this one dollar. Okay, there you go. Excuse the background noise. It's the problem with living in the suburbs. I got a neighbor that's cutting a tree down over there. All right, so that is a, doesn't say anything about it. Nothing, just there it is. Let's take a look at this. Okay, wow. Well, I have never used a bait caster before. Uh, my son had one for a little while and we ended up getting rid of it because it was just so frustrating for him. But first impression is, I mean, it feels solid. I thought it was gonna be like just some cheap plastic. This part's metal. This is, I believe, yeah, this here is the um, drag. And then this is, I believe, the, I don't know what that is. This is the, like, the break. Okay. I mean, it feels super solid, so we're going to see. I got to get it spooled up with some line and uh, give it a try. Now, there's going to be some user error to it because I have not used the baitcaster much, so there's going to be a learning curve there, but... Well, well, I mean, first impression, I gotta tell you, it's solid. It's really pretty solid. So, uh, here's the specs on it. It has a, uh, there's the gear ratio right there. I, I don't really know much about gear ratio. And then line capacity basically refers to, um, like, what size line you can put on it. Um, so I believe that 0.3 millimeters is going to be about, that'd be about 20 pound for like braided line. Um, so it looks like you can probably put about 20 pound, maybe like 20 pound to about 40 pound. 40 pound might be the top of it. So I might try and grab some, say, 30 pound braided line and throw it on here. Um, so we'll see how that works. Let me show you what I'm working with here. Uh, so here's my, um, $9 reel, but remember I got a $5 coupon. So this is actually only $4. And then the rod I actually had, this is, uh, I think it's six and a half foot medium action. I got some 30 pound braid, which cost me $12. So this bait casting reel and rod combo is a $14 setup here. So <laughs> I'm gonna see if it works. I'm gonna do take this down to uh, one of my favorite fishing spots. The problem is, is that I have not used a bait caster in a while, probably over a year. And even at that, I haven't used them much. 
there is a bit of a learning curve to it so we'll see if I can manage to get some fish uh, without getting too many um, birds nests here so let's go my goal here today is uh, not necessarily to catch fish because we got heavy rain last night and um, water is pretty murky here muddy uh, I'm gonna see one if I can figure out how to work this bait caster and two just to see how it does how does it cast how does it feel um, and so you know that's what we're gonna try and do here okay you all are seeing this live my first time casting this and frankly my first time casting a bait caster in a while so if it goes bad you'll see let's test the drop there all right pretty good okay here we go first cast and there we go look at that birds nested right up <laughs> not bad though not bad i'm not sure what the problem was i'm gonna have to reevaluate there okay My lure may not be heavy enough. I don't know. We'll see. Maybe I'll speed up the drop there. Let's try it again. Okay. Let's try that. Here we go. Cast number two. Oh, again. Shoot. It's not a super bad bird's nest, but it's still it's not great. All right, check it out, everybody. I was just messing around with it, just sort of getting the hang of it. I just tossed it out not very far, and look at this. Got a small mouth. Let me get him off the hook. There we go, nothing, uh, nothing award-winning, but hey, I caught him on a $16 rod and reel combo. <laughs> now I do have a knot in my line that I gotta try to get out. Let's get him back in there. But I did catch a fish, so how about that, everybody? Let's get him, there he goes. All right, caught a fish on my $16 rod and reel combo. <laughs> Okay, I've cast it out there for about maybe 20 more minutes. I'm going to keep trying different lures and stuff. I'm going to wrap this video up. The issues I would ha say I'm having with it is just not being used to a bait caster. Um, it's definitely not a high quality <laughs> reel. I think I would have the problems I'm having even if I'd had a $75 reel on there. Uh, I would say, you know, if you're thinking about maybe, hey, I'm going to try a bait caster for the first time, I mean, I don't think you can go wrong with $9. It seems to work okay. Um, you know, obviously, I've only used it once. I don't know how long it's going to last. Uh, it definitely works better than the world's smallest fishing rod that I bought on TeamU. But you can check that video out if you haven't seen that. So I'll just keep toying around with it. But I would say, hey, if maybe your kid wants to try a bait caster, or you're trying it for the first time, uh, it might be worth it. So anyway, um, hope you enjoyed this video. Check out more fishing videos there. You can subscribe right there if you're not a subscriber. If you have some ideas for other things you'd like to see me do, experiment with, try any challenges, you can comment below and leave them. Thanks for watching. We'll see you next time.